today, Mayor London Breed said that the senator would often call her and reach out to her and ask her questions about the APEC conference or how things are going in the Tenderloin. And the mayor said she was a huge help during COVID. I'll always remember that during the most difficult times when things were challenging, I never had to pick up the phone and call her. She always immediately picked up the phone. She always had San Francisco top of mind. Breed is only the second woman to serve as mayor after Feinstein. Our Kelsey Thord has more on how the late senator paved the way for countless other women. Well, it's continued to pour in honoring the late senator. Diane Feinstein. One word keeps being repeated, and that is trailblazer. The senator's career spanned over 50 years, and during that time, she was often the first woman elected to her position. Over the decades, she has broken countless glass ceilings and inspired many of the women who are in office today. From her early days in government back in the 1970s, Dianne Feinstein was not shy about sharing her opinion that women deserve a seat in government. I think that women are going to play an enormous role in the destiny of the world, in the quest for peace, in the solutions to poverty, in government. Throughout her career, Feinstein was often one of only a few women, if any, in the room but quickly became the first to rise to a position of power. In 1978, she was elected the first woman president of San Francisco's Board of Supervisors. And after the assassination of Harvey Milk and George Moscone, she became the city's first woman mayor. In 1984, while still in her position as mayor, Feinstein's name was floated as potentially becoming the vice presidential candidate on Walter Mondale's ticket. Here's a clip from an interview she did with KPIX at the time where the reporter asked her if she was surprised her name was in the conversation for VP. I think if I were a man, it would, have, it would be there, very much so. Um, I've been a good mayor, and I've done the right things for the city, and I intend to continue to do the right things for the city. Feinstein was not ultimately picked as Mondale's running mate, but that didn't slow her down. In 1992, she was elected California's first female senator in what would become known as the Year of the Woman. She stayed in that position as senator for over three decades until her death, making her the longest-serving female senator in U.S. history. Kathleen Brown, the former treasurer of California, who worked with Feinstein for years, had this to say about her colleague and friend. She's a legend. And uh, her legacy is uh, profound for the state of California, but I think greater than uh, just the state for women around the country and around the world. Former Congresswoman Jackie Speer was also a longtime friend and colleague of Senator Feinstein's. She simply had this to say about the senator's legacy. The legacy she leaves behind is one that will be unmatched for certainly my lifetime. Now, leaders across the country, as well as here locally, have been sharing their stories about the late senator all day. We heard from Mayor Breed here earlier at City Hall. She shared a story where she said she actually thinks of Senator Feinstein still as the mayor of San Francisco, and that's because she would often call her office and give advice. Yes, Kelsey, thank you.